I would change my outfit, I would probably say like 10 times. It's one of those days where like nothing is working with the hair, but I've done the hair, so I'm not gonna redo the hair. So we're just gonna roll with this. And I kind of sometimes stress out when I do these talking videos about what I'm wearing and what I look like, but I don't think anyone cares. They're just here to hear my voice, you know what I mean? And just see the pictures. Today we're talking about this summer 2023 trends I love. Of course, this video is coming. I love doing this trend videos, they're my favorite ones. I will link the playlist in the cards, so you can go and watch all the other ones. But today feels like a slightly extra special trend video as it's sponsored by Styles. You all know Styles, I've spoken about them on the channel before. And it's really exciting to be working with them again and getting like another opportunity to talk about the app as it's one of my most used apps. Styles is an outfits posting app and I really see it as like an outfits diary. It's free to download and you can select pictures in your camera roll of your outfit add the tags about the outfit details so other people can find your pictures for inspiration and you can also link products on the pictures which I personally love especially if you want to tag a small brand and introduce somebody to it where they may not already like notice what the brand is and I feel like I always get asked where I find my fashion inspiration and since I've downloaded Styles a few months ago it's been one of my favorite places to go and find inspo and to see how like real people are actually genuinely wearing these trends and on my last video I got so many comments about how the app's not available in the US guys it's coming to the US at the end of May you're welcome. And something that sets Styles apart for me is their weekly forecasting and like trend spotlights that they do. Each week on the Styles Instagram, they focus on a new trend, which then becomes a category on the app that week. And you can tag your outfit into that category. So you have a chance of like other people seeing how you're styling this trend and also getting a chance to be featured on their Instagram, which I think is pretty cool. And I really love seeing what they do every week as it's just really good for inspiration and to know what they're forecasting that's gonna be a trend and like get my brain working about how I already wear this trend or could be wearing this trend. And I really love when they post all of the pictures from that trend of the week that they're loving. The variety of people on styles just proves of how like everyone dresses differently and you can really take a trend and wear it in a million different ways. And what's really exciting is that I've been working with styles to come up with their weekly trends for May and June, which is really cool. So the first one that both styles and I are loving is crochet. I feel like crochet is always gonna be a summer, like category trend obviously but this year I feel like it's just coming in so strong and also in so many different ways that's why I love crochet it's such a broad category for different summer occasions like for me when I think of crochet I immediately think of festivals even in like the maxi dress form that's how I've been seeing it the most so far and I feel like we're really gonna see that in summer I love my white rentre dress it's definitely one of my favorite dresses I've ever owned okay longer shorts and capris obviously styles and I had to put this one out there I feel like it's just such a good category and it is everywhere at the moment I feel like we've been talking about the long baggy shorts for a while they were definitely here in 2022 but now it really feels like everyone gets it and everyone understands it and everyone is sort of like finding a way to wear this trend to suit them and I really love the idea of wearing these longer shorts and these capris on like the colder summer nights or even in like the early summer which we're now laid up with jackets like I love a good cropped bomber or like a leather crop jacket with like a long short capri I think they look so good and in like summer hot nights with like a baby tee and like kitten heels I just love it another one is hair glam I'm obsessed with this I've been loving to see people style it on styles as it's given me so much inspiration I just want to do more with my hair and there are so many things within this category that I'm loving the first one probably being the headband on the hairline I'm so addicted to this and I think it's just such a flattering look and bows of course adding ribbons to your hair is just like such a massive trend and adds so much I think and something that I've been loving is clip in bows I have a bunch from Planet Introverted, one of my favorite small brands, and they are the most handy things ever because you don't have to worry about getting the bow perfect, it doesn't slip. And there was this picture on Styles of like the girl with like the huge velvet bow, and maybe she's really good at doing bows, but in my head I was like, that looks too perfect that it must be a clip in. And I just think they're such a good time saver, and also they look good knowing that they are like an already made bow. Big scrunchies, I've spoken about Good Squish on the channel before, and they're just everywhere, and I've said this 
this before but it really feels like in London like everyone knows what good squish is and everyone wears them and my friend Ines who's on the Stars app she really reminds me of this trend now and she wears this like gorgeous big one and I'm just obsessed with them I think they look so good and they're just so summery good squish also have this really cute like handkerchief sort of like paneling one and to me this is just such a summery accessory loads of clips I've been seeing this on Stars as well and people are having like all the pins down here and like the matching ones I think they look so good they're practical yet cool and they just like add a look to your hairstyle I've also been seeing this a lot online with like mismatch colored ones like all around your hair which I think are really cool and I was watching this TikTok of this girl that was talking about this brand called Lillette and they have like the bangles and like the hoop hair accessories I've never seen anything like this I think it's so cool also been loving the poofed up hair I feel like we're seeing this like so subtly it's not been done too much and I'm gonna really struggle to find reference pictures for it I can just already tell but I'm really loving the idea of doing this I actually think it looks really flattering like teasing the hair like that and seeing people do other 2000s hairlines like people doing like the side part bringing back the side parting wearing tops differently and specifically like long sleeve tops in different ways if that makes sense I feel like you all will know what I'm talking about because this has been such a popular thing at the moment especially on TikTok and I'm pretty sure the original creator was Camelia Fahoudi she does it so well it looks so good I've been seeing so many people do this trend and it just looks so good and I really 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 want to give it a go and I'm really excited for that week's trend to launch on style so I can see how other people are doing this trend as well tutus no words obviously I'm gonna say this again I keep saying it some people hate it some people love it I think she's here for summer and I cannot wait to start wearing mine I really want to get like a shorter more like everyday style one as well boho I'm loving it again it always reminds me of summer I feel like the minute Coachella happens and I start to see people dress like very boho inspired or people just start talking about like the history of Coachella or like whatever it just sets me in a mindset and I'm like summer has begun and boho season is here and I'm really into it and I feel like we're always influenced by different cultures things with fashion so Daisy Jones and the Six came out people have been talking about it dressing like it 70s like boho groupie I'm loving it like the whole rock star girlfriend thing that's been coming through with indie sleeves I feel like it's just like another side thing of that and I'm loving it some other ones that styles have focused on that I wanted to talk about is sheer I am loving sheer just like everybody else and it really feels like we're all finally getting a bit more confident with wearing more like see-through pieces now I don't know I feel like it's a hard statement to say because I've really do feel like that but also maybe that's just like the circles that I'm in or the city that I'm in here in London like I actually now would feel confident wearing a mesh or a lace dress with like some covered like granny pants under swimwear jewelry I am obsessed I kind of briefly touched on this in my Coachella okay I say briefly it wasn't brief like I went in about this because I'm obsessed it was in my Coachella video and I just love beaded swimwear where they have like beads on the straps or like charms and beads in the middle of the bikini and it's something that I'm so gonna hop on I recently got a peachy den swimsuit which has all the beaded details I got it from their sample sale so a couple of the beads were missing I'm gonna bead the shit up out of that swimsuit I want to add a million more I'm obsessed with the way they look and I have fallen in love with Gimaguas's jewelry bikini like look how insane this is it's like incredibly low-key impractical and I can just imagine the weight the weight of that bikini if I'm running into the ocean and I have these like gorgeous glass beads lashing against each other like that's gonna weigh me down in the ocean do you know what I mean but I would still wear it I think it's such a vibe I was just obsessed with the whole campaign shoot for this and it just got me into my feels about like adding charms like this to your bikinis again it's something you can easily do yourself get a needle and some thread and some charms sew them onto your bikini you're good to go utility belts following on from Gimaguas like they really set me off to like speak about this in this video they have this insane metallic one and they wear it with bikinis and I'm literally obsessed and Paloma will also do a really similar utility one as well my friend Paige has this insane studded one I saw Mia she like found one from her mum's wardrobe and they are so practical as well like having the pocket details it's so good and I'm now just such a lover of like the wide yet flat belts I think they look so good and I'm being serious when I say wearing belts with bikinis that is a vibe that is the mood that I'm gonna be on like catch me this summer doing that 
Am I gonna go into the pool or the ocean with it on? Absolutely not. Will I do it for the pictures and the vibes and like wear it up until the minute I'm in the water? 100% and I'm so into them. I feel like it's the summer of big belts right now and I'm loving it. And then following on from the Gumaguas belt, metallic details in general, I'm obsessed with metallic right now, specifically for me in silver. I feel like these look the best in details, such as belts, bags, accessories in your hair, like really shiny, obvious, chunky, like silver jewelry with like big pendant. And of course in bikinis, metallic bikinis is where it's at this summer. Gold and silver, I'm obsessed. It's throwing me back to American Apparel 2010's days. Recently, I saw a friend of Kimby Yeats dress in a metallic, no, not metallic, copper bikini at Coachella, and it looked insane. The minute that I saw that TikTok of her wearing it, I was like, this is it. Like, this is such a vibe. Itty Bitty Shorts, another one that I've seen on Styles, and kind of like, I guess, boxer shorts too, and then just like tight ones, like athletic ones, like fabric, cotton soft ones. I'm obsessed with seeing people wearing these and I feel like we're gonna be seeing them even more this summer. They can be dressed up so sleekly with like some kitten heels or some really nice long boots, very like Paloma wool with that silhouette. And I've been obsessed with this outfit of Paloma walls and I feel like we're just gonna be seeing it even more this summer. It is the summer of elevated basics. Okay, especially like off the shoulder ones. I spoke about this in my wish list video. I am so obsessed with this Paloma wall off the shoulder top. I feel like we're seeing this style of top everywhere. Peachy Den have just come out with this insane one. I am so obsessed with it and I really, really wanna buy it. I'm loving these elevated basics. So classic, so sleek. And I feel like we're really gonna see brands like Sousa Musa and Nippy Studios shine. They're some of my favorite small brands, like the Sousa Musa cut out sleeve dress that I'm obsessed with. I feel like this is such a good elevated basic for summer and all of Nippy Studios' pieces. Like just so flattering and the cuts and the silhouettes and like investing in these really incredible pieces that you're gonna keep forever and wearing them in the most timeless ways this summer. I'm so obsessed with them. Studs. I've said it before, I'm saying it again. They're here, I'm obsessed with them. I'm loving to see them everywhere. It feels like my eyes just gravitate towards stud details now and I'm loving it from like small details on clothes with like tiny accents here and there and on belts and bags and then to all over studs like covered in them. Butter yellow, I wish this was a little bit more butter yellow and then I could sit here and be like, oh, Look at me wearing this trend. I'm loving butter yellow. And I think it was Limnick that I heard say the words butter yellow. And I was like, oh, I'm obsessed. It's such a gorgeous color. It's so spring summery and I love it. I'm seeing people wear it and I can't wait to see more people wear this color. Bolo ties, I mentioned this in my wishes video. I wanna give like a whole moment to it. I really see them being here. They really remind me of the principal of Wizards of Weaverly Place, like the cowboy guy. They just always remind me of him because I don't think I actually knew what a bolo tie was before I watched the show. Osteria, Osteria? Osteria? It is one of my favorite small brands and they do these gorgeous, dainty, incredibly stunning ones. I'm so obsessed with them. And then my friend Sophia has this insane vintage gold old one with the like hibiscus-esque flower in the middle. It looks insane on her and I'm just so, so obsessed with them right now. And I was speaking to my friend Ruby about this video and asking her what she's loving for summer and what she kind of like predicts coming out. And she was saying asymmetric cut skirts. And I feel like I cannot not talk about this because it is everywhere. Like people are loving it. And I'm especially seeing it in sheer fabrics such as lace. I think they look so good. And when they are in like a sheer fabric, I feel like you really see the asymmetric cuts even more because of the way the fabric falls and you can like see through it it makes the outfit transform and you can really play around with your shoes and because one side is going to be higher than the other you can wear like a really long boot and it like shows it off in two different ways or like socks and a kitten heel and I just think they're great also another one said by Ruby flip flops I'm also obsessed with these I feel like we need to bring back the flip flops as a statement not just wearing it to be practical like walking on the beach or whatever and Ruby has these really nice like chunky black ones with like the little flower detail in the middle and this is exactly what we're talking about like the elevated flip flop with something going on maybe it's the color maybe it's an added detail like beading or studs or the flower adding some chunk to it I think they're really cool and 
can be worn so well. Buckle boots, obviously everyone's obsessed with these. I feel like obviously, you know, Mew Mew transformed this and I really wanted to mention it because of the Steve Madden dupes that everyone's obsessed with. They are so, so nice and I'm so happy that I actually didn't cave and buy them because they are kind of expensive and I feel like it's kind of low-key gonna be one of those things that is a bit too trendy, a bit too viral. Like, I get it, Steve Madden, I really do, but I'm just like, the Mew Mew ones are so much better. So I either see get the Mew Mew ones or go vintage or like one that's not trying to be like the Mew Mew. Like, I feel like the Steve Madden are like trying a little bit too hard but they are really nice very random and specific but like high neck halter necks like turtlenecks but they're a halter neck i think they're so flattering and so great for like a summer night out out for drinks in the summer because they're very sleek and sophisticated and so put together in my opinion and in my opinion i love the way that they really elongate or like widen your shoulders like just makes everything look really long i just think it looks really really flattering okay a couple of predictions where i feel like I don't know if everyone's loving it, but we gotta include it. Red. This is what Ruby said to me. She was like, red. Bright red. It's here. It's happening. It's gonna be a thing this summer. And I'm really intrigued to see how people do this. I need to get more red into my wardrobe. I think it looks really good when you have a summer glow and just like looking really fresh and you have like really nice deep red color. I was also seeing Mira on TikTok talk about ox blood. There's two sides to this that we may see like the really nice cherry deep like bright red and then the really nice like ox blood almost like bordering on burgundy i guess pieces can we please just have an indie city summer i feel like i really thought by now indie sleeves would have been way more popular and like way more seen and i feel like it really is but i think i need to take myself out of it because i think my for you page and my algorithm is just so in tune with what i love and it's really giving me that but i know that like not everybody is as into it or really knows like how to dress indie sleeves inspired the 2010s like i actually do feel like it is coming back like so many different small features we've seen and i feel like i'm really loving the idea of wearing 2010s in the most like meme way possible but like making it work and like making it look good triangle bikinis let's bring it back the neon bikinis like with the with the black piping like i actually think it's such a vibe very like spring breakers like super neon also 2010s the isabella morant wedge trainers i wanted to talk about this back in january when i did my like 2023 trend predictions but i was like i don't know about this i feel like she's a little bit too specific but since then i've seen so many people talk about it on my tiktok specifically and like wear them and the 2010s are really back and i think you can honestly make anything work and anything look good with confidence and i think these wedge trainers are so ridiculous they're a amazing also in the 2010s moment i really feel like we're going to be seeing printed full swimsuits back at it again and i think it's such a vibe it really reminds me of my tumblr days there was this brand called black milk that did so many of these and i have one and i'm gonna find it i like literally haven't been able to find it for ages also within that the flag print swimsuits like the usa and the uk ones in particular donna villarino she specifically set this off for me i'm loving all of her styling at the moment I I feel like it perfectly fits into this like wearable 2010s in 2023 vibe i guess skirts over dresses this one tiktok set this off for me i'm obsessed i feel like we're gonna be seeing it more we see like the skirts over trousers and people are just loving to layer things or wearing like a top over a dress over a skirt things like that and i feel like wearing a skirt over a long dress is a vibe and we're gonna be seeing it even more fingers crossed i said this before i'm gonna say it again mermaid core siren core and i again like i said with the daisy jones thing i think we're so influenced by current pop culture the little mermaid film is really gonna do this i'm so excited to see that film and i can just imagine the styling and like the makeup and the hair just like being so inspiring and people wearing this style so much in the summer it's such a good summer trend and i feel like it's so easy to do this aesthetic with like tiny details like your makeup really like shimmery holographic iridescent fabrics and like loose cut pieces and like your hair and like shell necklaces and things like that the final trend that i'm going to talk about going on from studs big grommet holes in clothes i saw sweet bitter on tiktok one of my favorite accounts talk about this and it's this brand called 
Ninus, I think is how you say it. They've just come out with all these pieces. Like, obviously, the headband, I was obsessed. Like, that's such a vibe. I think it's so cool. Again, something you can easily DIY yourself if you want to, like, put your own spin on it. It's kind of like the opposite of a big stud, isn't it? Because it's, like, the inverted, like... Thing. I don't know. I just think they're really cool and I think we're gonna be seeing them a lot this summer and like done in like bags Like imagine a bag with like all massive grommet holes across of it. I love it I think it's great and um, yeah bring back grommet belts I feel like I hated on them for a little bit and those are all the summer 2023 trends I'm loving I hope you guys enjoyed I really want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below You guys are always honest with me, which is the best like I really love hearing your opinions Did I miss anything? Did I miss the mark with anything? Is there some small brands that are selling these pieces that I should know about? Please let me know in the comments down below and of course to help you get more inspiration this summer You should definitely go and download styles the link to download the app will be in the first line of the description of this video You all can go and follow me on there at Susie Lola. I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and of course follow me on my social medias